What's up guys, how are we doing today? Today I am teaming up with Demented FX in Holyoke, Massachusetts. So they got two horror experiences and a VIP lounge and their own beer that we're gonna check out. So me and Daryl are here, we're gonna experience the whole thing together and let you know how everything is. Sadly, we can't record in the haunted house, but we'll let you know how it is right after. Be sure to stay till the end to get our whole review on Demented FX in Holyoke, Massachusetts. Now they have two different horror experiences that we're gonna experience. And the first one is called Biomed Corp's Haunted House. Daryl, you want to tell them a little bit what it is? Of course. Biomed Corp Haunted House portrays one cohesive storyline. An immoral medical laboratory ravaged by its own experiments has let loose a virus that is turning the world into monsters and ghouls. You need to break into the lab and rescue the scientist who has to cure to save all of humanity. And the indoor waiting area encompasses you in an apocalypse while featuring a VIP lounge and two bars stocked with enough beer and wine to keep the party going from dusk till dawn. Woo! Spooky. Yeah. Ooh. I wonder if there's gonna be like a live actor where we have to like actually save and be like, come with us. Maybe. That'd, That'd be, be cool. Sick. They're teaming up with the brewing company called The Great Awakening and they have their own beer and it's green and it looks awesome. I'm probably putting a picture on right now. It's called The Serum and I'm really excited to try that because it's gonna be sick. I like beer. I've never seen like a, a haunted house partner up with a brewing <laughs> yeah. company so it's kind of different. And a I green like beer. It. That's yeah. really cool. Mm -hmm. They also have something that's called The Meat Tank Horror, horror experience. experience. Daryl, yeah. would you like to tell them what it's about? Of course. <laughs> this actually sounds really sick. So the Meat Tank is a PG-13 simulation experience that gives you a small taste of gigantic scares of our BiomedCore haunted house. In the years after the outbreak, BiomedCore has formed its own military, the BMC Mobile Infantry. Sounds actually pretty badass. Yeah, that does. All right. Victims will join the civilian tactical recruitment program and be sent on their first mission. The sensory experience uses enhanced audio design, video, animatronics, lighting effects, and simulated movement to send new recruits on an elusive adventure into the zombie wasteland. Wow. Wow. That, that seems sounds, fun. Yeah, it's a sounds, simulation too. Yep. I like the fact that it's like all different. Yeah. They're actually like thinking of new ways. Exactly. Not just like a regular you know, haunted house. Yeah. But so I'm really sick. excited. Yeah. About the beer I was talking about. What was the flavor? The serum. It's like a apple cinnamon. It was like an apple cinnamon yeah. type thing. It's like a really fallish drink. Yep. And it's green, which I'm excited it's green. I like my colors. Yeah, it's like an apple cinnamon ale. Yeah, apple cinnamon ale. Apple cinnamon so, ale. That sounds yeah. really good. Guess it's gonna be like kind of like a soury, kind of like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited for it. Can looks sick. We'll show you that in a second. So yeah, right now we're gonna go. We got the VIP tickets, which means we get an hour of the VIP lounge. We got a, a drink and a snack. And I'll go over the, all the pricing and everything after and what we thought of the whole thing where we're back in the car. We're gonna bring you in there. We're gonna show you what's up and uh, get a couple drinks, get a couple scares in. And we'll let you know. Sounds good. You ready, Daryl? Hell yeah. Let's do it. We got a spooky moon. It it's is. actually much closer than it looks on camera. It is spooky. Yeah, setting the mo mood. <laughs> setting the moon? <laughs> yeah, the moon. It looks like a full moon. It does. Spooky, spooky. You ready? Let's go. We'll get it. All right, we made it. We got a fried dough over here to the left. I think it's a little hot, hot dog stand over there, right near it. The bus. And then we got Demented FX. You know you're here when you see the sign. Am I right, Daryl? Hell yeah. Watch out from behind you, too. <laughs> Jesus. Oh Oh, hello. 
higher. We don't even have the budget for someone else to do this. Welcome to Demented FX. My name's Jeremy. I'm co-owner and president, so I'd like to- All right, so I'm here with Jeremy right now, and he's gonna tell us a little bit more about Demented FX. So what makes Demented FX different than most haunted attractions, it's got a cohesive storyline. So if you like a Resident Evil feel, that's what Biomed Corp is. Biomed Corp's a biomedical facility that's been doing immoral, genetic cross, you know, humans, animals, stuff like that. And so it gives us the opportunity to create a laboratory experience. And so when you walk through the haunt, it's not like you have a pig room and a witch room and a ghost room. You're here to, to uh, tour Demented, to uh, tour Biomed Corp, and you end up in the basement and you gotta get out. So you, you, you go through all these different labs, like you got a baby room and like all kinds of weird stuff. And uh, of course, because it's they're doing weird experiments, we got giant creatures, and so it's not just zombies, but it's it's a whole storyline. So it's like walking through a movie. That's what makes us better. And the other thing is is timing. It's not nuts to bucks. We like to put you in in groups, like every three minutes, so it keeps everyone separate. If you go to a haunt that nuts that's nuts to bucks. You see the scares happening in front of you, there's, so there's no magic. So we, we try to make sure that everyone's as separate as possible, that way they get the best experience possible. Yeah, that's definitely a big thing I've noticed in that a lot of haunts now, is just, like you said, nuts to bugs. Right. And do you want to tell us a little bit more about what we're about to drink right here? Yeah, so Great Awakening is a local brew company in um, Westfield, Mass. They were kind enough to approach us and ask us if we wanted to do a collaborative. It's the first collaborative they've done. It's the first collaborative we've done, especially Ooh. for beer and wine. We have a huge selection of beer and wine, but you know, it's cool to have a seasonal apple sour beer that yeah. has our name on it. So. And the can is awesome. I like the can. Okay. <laughs> I got one more question for you. Hit me. Favorite Halloween movie? Oh, favorite Halloween movie. That's a tough one. I, I really like The Conjuring. Mm -hmm. But that's not, I wouldn't say that's my favorite. I would say it's probably, well, you gotta remember I'm old. I'm <laughs> Probably maybe the original Nightmare on Elm Street was okay. really good. Um, Classic. Yeah, I, I mean, and I guess Die Hard. Yeah. No, <laughs> but, is it a Christmas movie? Yeah. Yeah. It is a Christmas. No, I, I'm thinking like I, I, I grew up loving like it's in the background right now. Ghostbusters was a great, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. from one of our Halloween movies we always watch. Nightmare Before Christmas. That's actually Classic. probably yeah. one like I really like. You know, I'm an artsy guy. I yeah. like that stuff. Oh, I, I love it too. <laughs> no, I, there's too many. I like too many. How's yeah. that? <laughs> there's a lot of good ones. There's a lot of good ones. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, right. and I, I can't wait to go through it. All right, we'll talk to you when you get out. Sounds good. All right, we'll Appreciate it. Thank you. So, how many dead bodies does it take to screw in a light bulb? Twelve. No, it's more than six because my basement's still fucking dark. <laughs> <laughs> Please remember that all of you here tonight are squirters, if I cut the right artery. Somebody tall, dark, and fucking creepy. I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're, we're about to try the serum, and um, Daryl messed up. He already tried his, but pretend like you took your first sip again. Yep. It's actually really good. Like, it has like this. Actually, you know what? I'll let you take it first, and then we'll talk about it. Alright, the serum. So how was it? What do you think? That's actually really good. Right? It doesn't take, well, actually, kind of little, kind of tastes like green a little bit. Like a good green. Oh man, that's the apple. You taste colors now, <laughs> but it, I guess? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it tastes like fall. Like fall? Yeah. What's fall taste like then? Uh, like apple meets fall. <laughs> I know what you mean, but no, you know I, I, mean? I, I do like it though. I do too. That's something I'd get. Definitely try Again. it. I'll probably yeah, get a second yeah. one after this. Yeah, me too. Mm. That's really good. Oh yeah, go Daryl. I, no, it really honestly is like the perfect fall drink. I know what you mean now. So it's like super cinnamony, which like, like I said, tastes like fall, I guess. If fall had a taste, it has a good cinnamony taste to it. Not as hoppy, so if you guys don't like the hoppiness, then this is your beer.
100%. But I agree. Cheers. Yeah, you guys got to try it. Cheers. <laughs> hey, Daryl. What's up? Uh, looks like you're getting to the last sip. Do you want a round two? Yup. <laughs> Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Don't put me in a jar. She wanted to put me in a jar. I said no. Daryl said I'll sign paperwork and get half the profit. Kind of hurt. Hey, a 20 is a 20, though. A 20 is a 20. <laughs> of course. Me and Daryl have about 10 minutes before we have to go in, so we are going to have another drink. Wonderful. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. All right, we met some friends, and we're gonna do a big yes. cheers before we go in. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Cheers. 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 All right, to our new friends, shout your names out real quick. Paul. Doreen. Pam. All right, are you guys ready to go through? Yeah. yeah. Woo. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, I did. You'll see it. <laughs> All right, we're about to go in. We can't videotape, but we'll tell you everything after. You ready, Daryl? Well, of course. All right, man. let's do it. Me and Daryl just finished the hunt. We're gonna do our full review in a second, but it scared the pee out of us, so we need to go pee. So I came downstairs to the bathroom and check this out. You even got creepiness down here. I was actually, when I came down the stairs right here, I was looking for other haunts and scare actors to come out at me. All right, we just got back to our car after the walkthrough experience at Demented FX. And let me tell you, they care. I know that sounds weird, but they care. Do you agree? They, do you know what I mean? No, they really do. By far. They care. Probably one of the best, like, walkthroughs I've been through. Oh, yeah, 100%. Every single staff member every actor everyone in there they actually cared about the work not just it's a paycheck the actors were fully in character 24 7 the uh, staff was like they were kind of in character too yeah they were like no. even the bartenders just like and then you had the random people coming in like oh yeah throughout the whole like not mm -hmm. just not just in the actual like the walkthrough but yeah. like even outside of it it's what yeah, really impressed exactly. Yeah. The whole thing was yeah. an experience itself. I wish I could have showed you the walkthrough itself, but that's not allowed um, here at Demented FX. I understand why, because they want everyone to get the experience and not knowing right. what they're actually going to see, what they're actually going to do. I mean, we can talk about it because we've been through it, and that's allowed. We're not allowed to show you. Demented FX is open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and a few Thursdays in October from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. The general admission tickets are $30 and the VIP tickets are $55. We skipped the line because we had the VIP and there was a huge line. Right. Um, thank you, Demented FX, first of all. Amazing experience and I'm definitely going to be back 100%. Like you said, it was one of your favorite um, haunted houses. By far. What I wanted to tell you, once we shut off the camera with Jeremy, he was talking to us more and he said that he built like all of these sets and all of these props yeah the animatronics and the stuff like that like you know the if you if you actually experience a walkthrough you'll actually experience what he built mm -hmm. and some of them are amazing just the the, the way it works even the design yeah just in general is just yeah. amazing yeah. because he was uh he talked to us off camera which i wish i got that on camera but it was kind of like a uh, thank you for sitting down with me and then we started talking kind of thing awesome guy everyone was coming up to him praising him on how good this event was you were immersed in this story it was a whole storyline it wasn't a you go into this land then you go into this haunt and then you go into this you know no you know no it was weird like, clowns no yeah. like you know no like you know just the average we went in <laughs> yeah. and the lights went off the lady the the lady was had blood on her she had the the um the outfit on she was like all right enjoy your haunt the lights went off and we were like, oh, oh. God. We started like already screaming next to each other yeah. like, 
Oh god, I think there's Daryl was like, there's someone next yeah, to you. I'm I like, someone next I hope us. not. <laughs> the whole thing from beginning to end was just amazing. We went to the next room, they put the video on, debriefing you, telling you don't touch the actors, they won't touch you, you know, all the normal kind of things. We're watching the video and the staff guy uh, was there like making sure the video's played and then you know entered the door and he goes, You, you're going first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like like I was saying, us, yeah. yeah, like I was saying, like all these staff, they enjoy what they're doing. And uh so we went through, Daryl went in first, then I switched with him, then Daryl went and then I went, you go through this area we can't see below you and there's like squishy ground and they popped up, they scared the crap out of us. Yeah, easily the first like what three five like, minutes five seconds five, yeah literally five <laughs> seconds you know we're getting i'm already like you know jumping and screaming I was and whatnot. Too. i think the first thing we did is we went into this elevator and there was another oh, tv yeah, in there yeah, yeah. where the scientist you go through the story and the scientist was saying you know you got to go to the fourth level and we're like oh my god like literally it's an elevator that opens and then closes and then somehow you get to the lower I level they actually raise you up or not but i think they just I don't know because we went in one way and, and then, then out was, another different and then another way. way right? I really yeah. couldn't tell. Like I was saying, like all the like effects were amazing. Yep. So then like the door opens and then all obviously all the scares. There was a lot of actors in there compared to a lot of places nowadays. We went to one. I'm not gonna name one. Yep. Last week mm -hmm. that didn't have that many uh, actors in there, scare actors in there, yep. and it was like. It was, a, it was it was awful. It was but it was a night out where we just wanted to hang out. But compared to this. Oh yeah. If you were to choose one or the other, Demented FX is the way to go. So you go through a storyline, the actors will stop you when you're about to get too close to another group so you don't group up with them. And in the video that they were saying and how um, Jeremy was telling me, he's like, I don't like the haunts that go nut to butt. Yeah. He's like, I don't like the nut to butt thing. You know, the, if you want the full experience, just go in yeah. with your group. You, the actors will wave their hands like this and then they'll stop you for a second. They didn't like just stop you. It's, it's like, no, like, they, they didn't be like, oh, no, yeah, stop. Yeah. They, they jumped in front of you and be like, you know, acting all, yeah. you uh -huh. know, they kept in character. Yeah, they were in character the entire right. time. Right, which is huge. Yes, know? that's a huge part mm -hmm. because, like, um, if you watch the videos on the Instagram, they say we don't want to break the magic of the haunt, mm -hmm. which made total sense in what just happened. And going back on to the part where it's, like, immersive, like what Josh was saying, like he said in the um, interview, like, how a movie really draws you in, it's, mm -hmm. like, the same way... Demented FX actually does it. They actually create a plot for you. The second you walk through those doors, you know, they got the soldiers right there. Oh, and yeah. Like that. Yep. And then they actually end up, like, telling the story throughout the whole process. You know, even, yeah. even throughout the walkthrough, they'll have random people, you know, so they'll stop you. They'll have you watch a video or they'll even just talk to you. Yep. And, and the video would be along with the storyline of right, the, um, right, the doctor. Right. And, you know, it's like a plot twist and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But it's something you got to experience yourself. Yeah. I don't want to give yeah. away like too yeah, much. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because yeah. I really mm -hmm. think if you want a good October Halloween experience, you should definitely come here. Yeah. It was something I've never experienced before. Right. Everything like that just made it that much yeah. more, uh, I don't know how to say the word but like respectful like you respect it and it's things i've never seen before most of the like everything in demented fx i've never seen before and that's the thing that separates demented fx from a lot of the other walkthroughs yeah another thing i wanted to say is that we were supposed to do the meat tank yeah oh yeah i think two days ago they said at 7 a.m someone stole a car and was speeding down that road and crashed into the meat tank and broke it out of all you know, the things you so, could possibly hit. Why the meat tank? Why? Why the meat tank? So, sadly, we did not get to experience that. You as well? Oh, like 150%. Daryl said he's going to try to find their beer at a different, like, brew, like uh, craft beer breweries. Serum? Oh. I agree. If you find that, get a pack from me. Oh, I will. I'll you. Don't worry. And to wrap it up as a whole, Demented Effects, from top to bottom, you are immersed. You are in that storyline. Everyone cares. Everyone's in character. They are happy to be there. So thank you again, Demented Effects. I can't thank you guys enough. It was amazing all together from top to bottom. The VIP was really fun. You get to sit there for an hour, have a couple beers, have a couple snacks, and just chill out and get ready for the experience so thank you demented fx for having us out so check out their links down below if you're not subscribed please subscribe tell me other haunts like, tell me your haunt that's like your favorite and your favorite
Scary movie. Daryl, real quick, what's yours? Ooh, hard one. Probably, probably the ring, the OG ring. Yeah. Not the uh, not the Asian version, but the OG ring. Okay. Because that was probably like my the ring is very thing. scary. I don't like little girls and wells. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring that notification bell. Thank you so much, Daryl. Of course. I hope you had a great time. Oh, 100%. And I'm telling you guys, it's one of those things that you got to actually like come to experience. Yep. Come check it out. Demented FX. Demented FX. We'll see you next time. See you guys.